Hey guys, this episode we're going to be talking about action controller parameters and specifically the method down here at the bottom with defaults. Now this is just an alias for reverse merge, but it is one of those things that I commonly see and commonly do myself in our controllers when I need to assign some default values. So let's take a look at an example. Let's generate a scaffold for a post model and we want the post to belong to a user. Um, and we also want the post to have a title and a body that's a text column. So we'll go ahead and create that. We'll Rails DB migrate and we'll pull up this in our editor. And our post controller here um, will generate that. But the important part here is that we want this new post to actually assign a default value to that user um, references. So we can say current user here and just assign that. But what would be really nice is if we could do this as part of the parameters um, that we have coming in. And that is exactly what we can do. So instead of this line here in our create action, kind of making that a bit more complicated, we can use that with defaults here and say user is going to be current user. Now, I don't have a current user method, so we're just going to say user.first for that. And we don't want the user to be able to choose who wrote the post. So we're going to make sure that user ID is uh, not in the permitted parameters here. And if we go to our post form, we can get rid of the user ID. And this will basically use this hash first and then merge in any of the title and body fields that came in the params. You can also use this um, for other things like maybe you have a checkbox or an array or something that um, may or may not get submitted by the browser, you can specify your default hash of parameters here and then they can be overridden by things that are submitted by the browser. So this is a super duper cool little feature. So let's open up our Rails server now and we'll go to slash posts slash new. We can say test and test if we create that post, we're gonna get user ID number one assigned here because of that with defaults. So this is really just the reverse merge that is um, built into a, a hash, even though the action controller parameters are not actually inheriting from a hash. So if we go to GitHub for this, um, you'll see that if we go look at the implementation of this, we have all of these methods that um, match with hashes like merge, values at, compact blank, compact, uh, you name it. We have all of these implementation details that work, make this work just like a hash in most cases. But if we come back up to the class and we look for class parameters, you'll see this doesn't actually inherit from a hash. It just works like one. So that is um, a really useful little thing that Colin taught me the other day. Basically, um, using with defaults, we can have this as a base um, hash of values. If we want the user in here, we can do that. We could do this for, you know, default values on radio buttons or checkboxes or, you know, whatever the case might be in array. Um, and this is just a great way to do that in case the browser doesn't actually submit something. The other option that you can do is like checkboxes do in the browser. If you have a f dot checkbox in your post form, if we just go in here and we say form dot checkbox hello, um, checkboxes do not get submitted to the browser unless um, they're actually checked. So there's no way to uncheck that in your forms. Um, check underscore box. So what you'll see here is that we have this um, hello input that's a hidden value and it sets the value to zero. So if this is not checked, um, then this hidden value will be submitted. Um, and they come over in order in the form. So whenever this is checked, it will send over value zero and then value one and then uh, the Rails parameters are able to uh, figure out that, yep, the last value is the one that you actually want um, in your Rails app. So if we update our post and we go and look at the network request, we'll see that post hello zero was submitted, but also post hello one. And if we edit this post without checking the box, we can check out that payload. Post hello zero was just zero. 
There was now one for the checked box because it was not checked. So you can use inputs inside of your HTML to try and make this work. Um, you know, for default values, but if there are any any cases where you want the server to set them, for example, we want to make sure the current user is set here um, by the server and we don't want the user to submit that, uh, then we can use the with defaults method to take care of that, which I thought was incredibly useful and incredibly helpful. And I was surprised that I had not learned about it, so I figured this would make a perfect uh, screencast to share with you guys. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.